recall that last time we were just got caught by the bell talking about what we were leading to here with this uh, looking at compound interest. Okay, remember we started by thinking about compound interest and turned it into a ju just a discussion in general about this function. And we saw that that function, okay, this function right here, if you look at a graph of that function, it uh, levels off here. And the, the, the farther you go with it, as in the farther you allow x to increase, the larger x becomes, the closer it comes, the closer the function gets to this line here, which was e, or roughly 2.7183, whatever. We were starting to write this in terms of using this word limit. So I think you probably wrote it out with words here first. And we're going to write it with symbols before we start the actual unit on limits. So let's get rid of this first. If you understand it with words or you understand the concept, then writing the symbols is not that hard. The limit of a good uh, way to abbreviate that would be LIM, L-I-M. The function, whatever here, that one's pretty easy how we're going to, the function that, well, you're just going to write that limit, and then you write that function, 1 over x to the x. I guess I won't highlight it yet. I'll highlight it after. Uh, the next part is, as x becomes greater and greater without bound, the way you can say that is actually... Um, as x approaches infinity. As x approaches infinity. The way you say that, as x approaches infinity, you put an x here, you put an arrow, and you put an infinity symbol. As x becomes greater and greater without bound, and the limit is equal to what? If the limit is not approximately not that number. The limit is that number. It's e. I know that when you look at the graph, it never, it never will reach that for any finite number. Anywhere you stop, no matter what this number is here, it won't actually quite have reached that. But when you talk about infinity here, it is equal to that number, is e. So if you're uh, following along with some highlighting here, as x becomes greater and greater without bound, or in other words, as x approaches infinity, that's this part of it. The limit of, that's what this, oops, that's the wrong color. The limit of, that's this, right? That mean, That stands for the limit of that function uh, is, is e. There it is, equals e. So those are the those are the symbols. That's the symbolic way to write that. That's what a limit is. It's how does a function behave? You're looking at the behavior of a function as you go to one end or the other, as you allow x to become a certain value. This is allowing x to become closer and closer, you know, going towards infinity. We're going to look at limits of things like as x approaches 2 or as x approaches different values okay, in this next unit here. But understand the notation to start with is very helpful. Understanding it is, is, uh, is kind of key. Before we start doing things with limits, you want to understand what a limit is, what it means. This is just, when you're looking at limits, you're looking at what is the behavior of the function as you get closer and closer to whatever value we put here. I know you can't get closer and closer to infinity, but as you go that direction, the behavior of this function is it tends towards that value, e. Okay? Some functions don't have finite limits like that. I mean, if you if you think about some of the functions you're familiar with, uh, like y equals x squared, if we were to draw it there, what happens with that function as you go out to the right here? Does it tend towards a certain value? Is it going to level off at a certain value? No, right? So it's not going to have a finite limit. It's not going to have a limit of a specific value here. We might say that the limit is infinity. It's it's kind of weird to say the limit is infinity. There's not really a limit then, but 
as we go through and look at limits, just make sure you understand that when you look at limits, you're talking about what is the behavior of the function as you get closer to whatever value it is, all right? So if we can leave this now, unless there's questions, we'll start looking at the, the second unit there, limits.